Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. You caught me in the middle of fiddling with my ice fishing stuff. Yeah, season's coming in a hurry and I've got a lot to do. Um, I've got to check everything works and make sure that I have everything I need. You know me, kind of paranoid about that. But that's not why I'm here with you. This came in the mail today. This guy, Rush Deer. They contacted me and said, we're going to send you this. Check it out and let us know what you think. So, let's do it. So, what I'm talking about here, like I said, is this from Rush Deer. These guys contacted me a couple of weeks ago. Let me get closer to you. So, you can actually see what I'm talking about. And they said that they have a tool that they want me to have a look at. They'd seen my reviews and wanted, thought they'd send me one and uh, I can have a look at it and do a review. And this is it here. And this is the Rush Deer uh, Multifunctional Hammer. <laughs> wow. Okay. I've seen these before. Uh, not this particular one. But I've seen them around and I've always wondered. I have looked at multi-tools a little unusual. I looked at the ones with the wrenches. Not your normal standard multi-tool. Well, this guy, i got to say, looks interesting. For a couple of reasons, certainly for me. So, let's check it out. So, it came in this box. Pretty cool box. Has a bunch of information on. Tells you all about the multi-tool here. Now, I... I didn't know who Rush Deer was, and uh, they were on Amazon. So I went and had a look at it when they told me about it. They gave me uh, a little bit of information and a link to it so that uh, I could go and check it out when they shipped it to me. came with these things. <laughs> Tis the season, and this was in the box, and it says, A gift for you. Thanks for your cooperation. Merry Christmas from Will. So... Here it is here. And yep, comes with a nice solid pouch, certainly solid. And as you can see, it's it doesn't seem to be as big as I thought it would be. It does have a place for you to put it on the belt, Velcro. Let's get this guy out. Wow. Okay. And there it is there. It looks pretty busy. <laughs> so you can see the hammer head and a bunch of gizmos here. So it does say on here that it's stainless. Now I did look that up and I couldn't find out what steel it was. All they said is that it's stainless. Now I'm just going to go through this and try and figure it out myself before I look at the directions when I get lost. They say, how many? One in 16. 16 tools on this thing. Let's see if we can find them. Now, as far as a hammer, this has got some weight, but the actual hammer itself, it, it's not that big. You can see it in my hand here. So just looking at this right off the top, some interesting things on you. It does say stainless on there, and it's it got the Rush Deer logo on it. That's about all it says on that. So, starting with the hammer, pretty obvious. You've got a flathead hammer here. This, on the back, you can see there, obviously, glass breaker. Pretty obvious. This here, huh? this piece here, you can see there. It's what I'd call a seat belt cutter. Yeah. This, to me, is turning into a vehicle multi-tool. And uh, obviously, if you find just, I live in Minnesota, we go ice fishing. And I've got to tell you, every year, yeah, somebody's in the water with their truck or their car because they didn't check the ice. Now, the problem is, is if your windows are closed, you can't open the door. The water pressure holds the door closed. You need to get out. Well, for one, on the ice, they recommend you don't put your seat belt on for obvious reasons. But if you do, you can cut the seat belt. Check that out. So you can cut yourself free if that's a problem. And then 
in order to get out, like I said, you, the water pressure on the doors will make it impossible to open. Glass breaker. You can break the window or your windshield or whatever with it. It's going to take a couple of blows, I think, with this because it's not extremely heavy. It's got weight to it, but I think it's going to take some heavy blows. But it looks pretty solid. So you'd break the window with that, break it out and allow you to get out of the vehicle. So I'm seeing this as a, not so, so much as a multi-tool you'd carry uh, at work or anything like that. You probably could. We'll see what it's got on there. But I, I'm right now I'm thinking vehicle. Uh, certainly these things that I'm seeing right here, you don't need to open anything on it. They're all there. You have quick access. Here you have a nail puller. See that? This guy here. So you can hammer a nail in and pull it out if you need to or whatever you're doing. So that's pretty cool. These, to me, would be obvious things on it. The handle is obviously where it keeps all the tools. And I've got to figure out how this... Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. Look at that. So basically what they have is you have your, your normal style multi-tool... They put a hammerhead on the back here. Huh. Okay. So you've got your uh, kind of needle long nose pliers here. You've got your regular plier grips here. And it has cutters. Wire cutter. You see that? And interestingly enough, hopefully you can see that, it has a little cutout in it. You see it there? Wire stripper. And these, I don't know if you can... I wonder if you'd be able to... They look as though they're replaceable, but I'm not seeing how you would take them out. They've been added in. It's just a pin holding it in there. So if you need to replace them, you'd have to cut the pin out. Anyway, so, you know, you've got your needle nose, regular cutters, wire stripper. Pretty cool. And it's pretty springy. Pretty solid. I'm squeezing on it pretty good. Wow. And I'm just looking at the you know, the way it's built. It seems pretty solid. There's no given the, on it there. And you've got your handle here, one handle there, which folds. As you fold it back, it becomes part of your hammer. So we have that. Where's the, oh, okay. Oh, I'm going to close it back up. Here we have, on the side here, you got a nail neck there. Lies, oh, look at that. That is a pretty big file. Look at the size of that thing. And you've got your cross check on it, and then just your straight check. So you can see there, and then your cross check. Flat screwdriver. Bottle opener. Yeah. Wow, but that's a, that is a, it doesn't lock, but it, it's a file. Do you really need it to lock? And like I said, it's a pretty healthy, look how big that file is. So this is, okay. Oh, and on the other side, <laughs> here we go. Let's see what they did with this. Huh, that doesn't lock either. The blade, you can see it there. And unfortunately, like I said, I'm not sure what steel it is. It is stainless. Kind of feels sharp. And it's a plain and serrated blade. Now, it's nice to have the serrated, but I find that a plain blade will do everything I need. But it is handy to have the serrated. Very nice. Very nice. What's the length of that blade? Three inches to the little choil. <laughs> So you've got a three inch blade there. Wow. I think what I'll do is I'm going to, I'll put the specs up as we go. And you probably, I've probably done that already. <laughs> that's why we edit. So that's a pretty cool blade. It just, it doesn't lock. It would have been nice if that had had some sort of liner lock on it. And it's, you know, three inch blade. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sharp. Take it out. And cuts. 
it's not sharp sharp but it's cutting um, and it cuts does the job you know once again we're talking multi tools there you got a hex wrench in there you see that right there but I'm seeing here there's a hole and I bet you that's a magnet in there so they must have some different heads that go in there where are they oh 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 I can see them I can't get to them how do I get to them no open it we're learning as we go here campers oh okay figured it out you can see it in here I bet you if I push that nope if I push that there we go look at that so if I push from this end you see it pop out there screwdriver heads you see them in there you have a Phillips Oh, big and small Phillips and a, a flat head. Huh. Okay, well, let's get one out because I know where they go. I figured that part out. Okay, they just slide out. Close that back down. Close that back down. Where was that hole? That hole there. The tulul. Yeah. Look at that. It's, it is. It's magnetized. So it's not going to fall out. <laughs> and you got yourself a multi-tool screwdriver wow i like this i like this well thought out a lot better than i thought it would be <laughs> the only thing and you know how do you get around that in a way i like the way they they hid the tools one of the reasons is on the outside here if this opens out you're going to lose your tools so they've just made them a little bit safer you won't lose them as easily i do a push this side yeah it opens into the handle if you know what i mean this way so when the handle's closed so this can't accidentally open and you can put your tools back in there they have three so that's pretty cool i don't know how many tools we've gone through there how many have we gone through what what am i seeing there this uh, oh that's part yeah that's just part of the file so there you have it i think that's everything let's check it out here on the back of the box here actually they say upgraded 16 and one hammer multi-tool including car safety hammer heavy duty mini claw hammer oh i forgot yeah well that is a mini claw uh steel file knife wire cutter phillips screwdrivers uh, ph1 and ph2 slotted screwdriver phillips head a 4.5 millimeter bottle opener serrated knife regular pliers needle nose pliers they didn't say anything about wire stripper did they a oh, wire cutter huh pretty cool so i think we got them all we'll go through it again safety hammer right there nail puller allen wrench they're calling this an allen wrench yeah i'm not sure about that it actually has two different sizes you got it's smaller here and it's a little bigger on the other side huh i wonder why they call that an allen wrench you know, I'm a foreigner. I call things different names. I just call this a regular wrench. Hammer, belt cutter, which was, I was right. This is a belt cutter. A screwdriver hole. Allen wrench. Nail puller. Slotted screwdriver. Which, where was that now? Oh. Uh, where was the slotted screwdriver? Oh, it was on the, uh, let me open everything up here this is the file so now you can see it all <laughs> see it all there that's everything you got your screwdrivers you got your hammer stuff and everything here and he has your hideaways your pliers pretty cool <laughs>
Something different. Huh, okay. So, uh, bottle opener, serrated knife, a regular knife, steel file, slotted screwdriver, needle nose pliers, regular pliers, wire cutter. So, yeah, we got them all. Very cool. The only thing is, like I said, is I don't know what steel it is. So, you know, who, who knows? Um, I'm thinking probably, I doubt if it's a tool steel. No, yeah, it can't be a tool steel. It's stainless. So, uh, you can see it there. Pretty cool. Would it be nice if they had locked the knife? The file I don't really care about. But, you know, you're looking at, if, you, if you're doing that, you're going to have to make the handle wider because you've got to have the liner. Mm. Pretty cool. Rush deer on Amazon. You know, like I said, ice fishing. Put it in your car. This to me is, it's certainly a, a, a car carry. It's what I call a EDCC. Everyday car carry. E D C C. Yeah. Everyday car carry. That's what I would call it. And it's pretty cool. I like the sheath. Although I, I wouldn't. I don't know if I want to put this on the sheath. However, I'm thinking if I'm going to be driving out onto the ice, this might be a good thing to have on your sheath. Sitting in the car there with the seat. So you've got to have it somewhere safe that you can find it, get to it pretty quick. You know, you can put it in your cubby. What do you call? I don't know what you call them. We call it a cubby hole. <laughs> we, as foreigners. And you can see it, rush deer. Now, like I said, they sent it to me, so I, I wasn't sure how much it cost. I went online and had a look and... Uh, that's what I found it listed at. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description. And if you're interested, and I'm, gonna, I'm impressed with it. You know, the only thing is that I don't know what the steel is. And I try to look it up and they don't say anything about it. But it looks sturdy. It feels sturdy. And it's got all the tools you need. Very cool. Let me know what you think. Would you consider carrying something like this in your car or... Think of another place for it to be. Definitely a car carry, but I mean, you could have this in your drawer at home. It's got all the tools you need, right? In your toolbox, fishing tackle box. Uh, the hammer side of it takes it out of the fishing tackle. Let me know what you think. You all be safe out there. Make sure you have something like this when you're going on suspect like hard water stuff. You don't want to be driving out there and suddenly have an oops. And i got to tell you, it's not uncommon. <laughs> Every year, beginning of the season, people get in a hurry and they head out on the ice. And you have pictures in the paper going, showing truck sitting in the water. What do you do? You want something like this with you when it happens. Travis and I, we... we we're pretty good about that. Travis is very safe. He checks the ice all the time. He knows what the ice thing, you know, what the depth of the ice is. He knows his limitations. So pretty good about that. That's why I hang with him. The guy's really smart. <laughs> Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Let me know what you think of this. And I'm pretty sure I'll be back with something else just seems lately I've had a, I think it's the season, a lot of uh, manufacturers and companies that sell stuff, certainly on Amazon, are contacting people. They, they're obviously looking through YouTube, looking for people that they think might be interested in their products. Good way to do it. Gets its name out there. And what does it cost them? This. Just saying. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.